Welcome to Lightning Knowledge Migration. In this video, we're going to migrate an org from Salesforce Classic Knowledge to Lightning Knowledge. Always, always, always create a sandbox org and perform your migration there first. After you've made sure that migration works in the sandbox, log a support case to migrate in the production org. In our sandbox, first we'll switch to Lightning Experience. Then, in Setup, we search for the Migration Tool. Click Lightning Knowledge Migration Tool. If you don't see this option, contact your Salesforce account executive. Now we're ready to get started. It's critically important to have a good understanding of the process before starting, so reading this documentation is a must. We've read the documentation carefully, so we verify that and accept the terms of service. During migration, article types convert into standard record types in a new knowledge object. Classic knowledge uses two article types, FAQ and issue. Custom fields used by each article type are displayed next to the article type. Here is where we map article fields. By default, each field maps to a newly created field. But we want to map some fields together instead of creating all new ones. Before we started migration, we made a spiffy spreadsheet to map the fields we want to consolidate. First, we want to consolidate the FAQ question and issue question fields. Since they do the same thing, we can use one field for both. We map issue question to FAQ question using the New Field drop-down. Now we don't have any more fields to consolidate, so we click Next. This step lets us know that our file fields move to the files object and related list during migration. We have a few things to check before we click Begin. See that note there? It's to remind us to disable changes to the knowledge base while we run the migration. If we don't, Changes made to articles during the migration will be lost. We did this before we started the migration, so we're ready. There's also a reminder that once we migrate to Lightning Knowledge, we cannot go back to Classic Knowledge. We're ready to start migrating into our sandbox, so we click Begin. Here's how our migration is progressing. If it's a small org, the migration might only take a few minutes. If it's a big org, it takes longer. Our org is small, so it's over in a flash. After you migrate, you see a summary of the migration. It lists all of the objects that we had to migrate, how many records there were, and how many migrated successfully. For example, four out of four articles migrated. If it's not in the original org, there's nothing to migrate. For example, there were no article histories to migrate. If something did not migrate, we'd see a yellow flag next to it. But everything is happily green. When we click Next, it's going to deactivate the classic article types, activate the new knowledge object, and enable Lightning Knowledge. That's what we want, so we click Next. Are we sure we want to move over to Lightning Knowledge? Yes, we are. This brings us to validation. We won't press that Accept button until we do a proper validation. So we check the documentation for an exhaustive list of things to validate. We carefully check off each item on the list before we accept the migration. The list includes things like checking page layouts, pointing code to the new object instead of the old article type object, and setting up permissions. After we confirm that we're really ready, there's no going back. We're ready, so we confirm. And that's it. We successfully migrated to Lightning Knowledge. We still have some setup to do, but we're ready to let the games begin. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.